Hi guys, my name is Tammy and I'm a doctor of physical therapy. In this video, we are talking about uh, exercises we can do to help with a condition called ankylosing spondylosis. So if you already landed on this video, it means that you've probably been diagnosed by your doctor uh, with this condition. I'm only going to give you a quick overview of what the condition is, and then we're gonna jump into the exercises. I'll make sure to put the minutes to that on the side of this video. As always, make sure to read the indications, contraindications, and red flags before you do any of these exercises, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This condition is a systemic inflammatory uh, issue that hits especially our uh, spine, uh, our SI joint, our pelvis, and what ends up happening is that the inflammation in the joints eventually causes the joints to fuse together. And that means that eventually you uh, have that, you know, bent forward posture, the range of motion is lost in our upper back, in our neck, in our lower back, in our pelvis. And the biggest problem we'll end up having, aside from lower back pain, uh, is going to be with breathing, right? Because if, uh, imagine your ribs are connected to your uh, spine, and if your spine is stuck, the ribs are stuck, then you can't really open and close your chest as you're breathing. Now. And this is a progressive condition, meaning that we can't really cure this problem with exercises, but we can definitely try to improve or maintain um, the range of motion that we currently have at whatever stage we're on, and we can slow down the progress of um, that loss of function, okay? Uh, so you have to make sure that you try to incorporate um, if not all, some of these exercises into your daily routine. I promise they'll be super simple ones. So as I mentioned, the first uh, thing we wanna do is to be able to maintain that range of motion, especially with extension. That is the movement that helps us stay up tall. Uh, so what I want you to do is go ahead, lie on your mat. We are going to go into uh, an extension. So all you're doing here is Propping up on your elbows, your glutes are super relaxed. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and look forward. So you want to try to maintain this posture throughout the day for at least 10, 15 minutes. Um, you know, you can maybe even start playing video games so you can stay like this or watching TV in this position. And again, you can, you can hold this posture for between five to 15 minutes. Uh, the second movement I want you to incorporate is a press up. Uh, so again, I'm relaxing my glutes. So shake your bum left to right. Make sure your glutes are super relaxed. Hands are a little more forward than where if I were to do an actual push-up. So my hands are a little more forward. I take an inhale. As I exhale, come all the way up. Now here, squeeze your shoulder blades back and down. Look forward, relax that bum. Feel that nice extension in your lower back so it feels super tight, it's okay. We're just gonna hold it. Exhale, relax your belly and come all the way back down. So these ones, you can repeat 10 of them. Look up, relax your bum, relax the belly, come down. So inhale up. As you exhale, relax the belly. Let those muscles go so the gravity will even create more of a curve in your lower back look up and back down so from this position now we are going to go up into a quadruped so again that's going on all fours make sure that your wrist is right underneath your shoulder your knee is right underneath your uh, hips so you're not here okay and all we're going to do is to do a couple of cat and cows, okay? So for those of you who don't know what that is, that's just when we curve all the way down and then look all the way up. Okay, so let's do a couple of those. And this is to kind of warm up your spine. After you do like, let's say three, four, we are going to now do segmental cat and cows. Uh, that means that we are going to think about where our spine sits. So this is your lumbar spine, your lower back. Your upper back is your thoracic spine. Your neck is your cervical spine. We are going to move our lumbar spine first, then thoracic spine, then cervical, and then back down. So it won't be like what I did at the beginning when you move the whole spine at the same time. So let's go into that neutral spine first. 
Then you're going to curve your lower back all the way down. Okay, so I'm all the way down. Then I'm gonna move to my upper back here. I want to squeeze my shoulder blades together, drop my chest all the way down. Lastly, I'm going to bring my neck all the way up. Then we are going to do exactly opposite of this. So first bring your neck all the way down, then push your body up, curve your upper back. You guys look at my elbows. I'm not, I'm not bending my elbows. Elbows are straight. I push into the mat, create that curve in my upper back, and then I create that curve in my lower back. And you can repeat this. So first my lower back, one vertebrae at a time, then my upper back, then I slowly bring my neck up, and reverse. Neck all the way down, then thoracic spine up, then I'm bringing my lumbar spine in. Okay, and you can repeat this exercise about 10 times. From there, we are going to turn around, lie on our back, the first movement is going to be rotation. So, so far we've done the extension movements. Now we are going to incorporate some rotation. Now you might tell me that you don't have that range of motion to go all the way down. That's okay, you guys. Just go as far as you can, back to center, then to the other side. You can either do this 10 times going side to side, or you can just drop your knees to one side, hold, but you wanna make sure that your shoulders are glued to the mat. You come up, go to the other side, hold. Again, you can hold between five to 10 seconds. Repeat it five to 10 times on each side. Then after our rotations, we are going to move into our flexion movement. So have one leg out, bring the other knee all the way up towards your chest. You can either hold on top or go underneath and pull that knee up towards your chest. So this is a great glute stretch, that's the muscle right here, but also it's stretching your lower back, it's creating that arch in your lumbar spine. You can hold this for 30 seconds, then switch to the other side, again hold 30 seconds. I would like to do these about three times if I'm holding them for 30 seconds. And the last one is a double knee to chest, so again bring both knees to your chest, again hold on top, or underneath, you can always interlock your fingers, bring your knees apart, pull your knees with your biceps into your chest, and you can even go side to side. So this is an amazing flexion stretch. You're still stretching your glutes too, and giving your lower back a massage. Again, you hold this 30 seconds, repeat three times. The next exercise will be a posterior pelvic tilt. Take your hands, Put it right on your pelvis, so the two bones we have on either side, grip those two bones. You want to rotate your lower back so your lower back touches the mat, okay? From here, I'm going to go down, one, two, three, four, five, relax. One, two, three, four, five, relax. Again, two, three, four, five, relax. So every time I'm rotating, I'm pushing my lower back into the mat, holding that spot for about five seconds, relaxing it. And you repeat this exercise three sets of 10. Now, we are going to add our bridge to our posterior pelvic tilt. So what I want you to do is, first of all, make sure that your feet are close to your bum. Feet are hip width apart, knees are hip width apart. You're creating that tilt first. So I'm tilting my lower back into the mat first. Squeeze your glutes, lift up, two, three, four, five, and down. Again, you guys, just like the posterior pelvic tilts, you're going to repeat this three sets of 10. This is, again, a great extension exercise, creating that mobility in your lower spine. The next two exercises we're going to do on the mat are going to help us open up our chest. So I'm going to be using a roller for this exercise. And now the size of the roller doesn't really matter, you guys. Pick whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, if you don't have a roller at home, you can always just roll a towel and use the towel instead. What I want you to do is put the uh, roller on the floor and you kind of want to make sure that you give your neck a, a support so you can either put pillows underneath your head 
or you can make sure that your head kind of lands on the roller as well. And I'm going to try to lie on the roller. Okay. Now, I'm definitely feeling this stretch. What you're going to feel is your chest is opening up. You might feel some pec stretches. Those are the muscles right over here. Bring your arms down and then try to reach up. So make a circle. If you guys have shoulder issues, you don't need to go this far. You can keep your hand here. It will still do the same thing. And you want to try to lie on this roller for a while. So what I'm really focusing on is trying to create that stretch in between my ribs. So I'm stretching my intercostal muscles, I'm stretching my diaphragm, I'm opening up my chest. How often do we get in this position throughout the day, right? And we're going to focus on our breathing. So deep, deep breathing through your belly. Try to open up your diaphragm. Now, after you lie on this for a while, you can always just add arm movement so you can reach overhead. Or again, you can create that semi-circular movement and get a stretch in your pecs too. Good. And slowly come off of it. Now, another way we can try to use the roller is to move the roller segmentally up, up on our spine. Uh, so you can use a peanut ball for this too. Uh, what I want you to do is bring your feet on the mat, your glutes are on the mat, and I'm planting the roller right underneath my scapula. The scapula is that bone you have, like your shoulder blade. Um, I have it right under the shoulder blade to start with. I'm going to interlock my fingers behind my neck, keep my elbows together, and I'm going to go back and forward. Use my legs to go down one vertebrae. So the roller moved up on my spine one vertebrae. Again, go back. And come up and go down one more. Great. And you can just do this movement up and down your spine. Again, you guys, I have a link in the description for you guys to how I do the exact same thing using a peanut ball. Um, I'll make sure to share that with you guys in the description. Also to where I usually get my rollers from in case you guys are interested. Okay, the last exercise we are going to do in this position is going to be uh, a breathing exercise that helps open up our chest. It is called lateral coastal breathing. Again, I have a video just on breathing exercises in the description, definitely check it out. Remember I said at the beginning, one of the biggest problems you'll have eventually is with your breathing. So we wanna make sure we keep those ribs moving. You're going to take both hands, put it right on either side of your ribs, okay? As you take an inhale, I want you to push with your ribs into your hand, expand your ribs. As you exhale, with your hands, push in and try to get all that air out, okay? So hands are here, inhale. Exhale. So as you guys can see, I'm making an audible sound with my breathing. Uh, it's just I'm trying to constrict the back of my throat a little bit. It actually helps me make those inhales and exhales longer and more controlled. Um, also, I'm just breathing through my nose. So we're doing deep breathing through our nose. Inhales and exhales. Again, let's try it one more time. Hands are on both sides. Inhale. Again, you guys, you can uh, incorporate these breathing exercises, maybe start doing 10 and every day make it a little bit longer or add more reps into your breathing. Okay guys, so I'm going to go over some standing stretches now and that can be very helpful for this condition. The first one is a fascial stretch for our upper back, neck and shoulders. It also helps with uh, stretching your shoulders and your pecs. What I want you to do is Create that posterior pelvic tilt we just did on the floor, okay? So you guys look at my lower back. This is extension. This is if I bring this in and my lower back becomes more straight. Um, so 
We're gonna do that on the wall, but you might just have to bring your feet a little more forward and bend your knees a little so your back is glued to the wall. The second thing you do is try to push your neck back. So now the back of my head is on the wall, my lower back is on the wall, but my knees are bent, right? Now, sometimes you might not even be able to get here. You can definitely put a pillow behind your head so your head is resting on that pillow. So if we're in this position and we're stuck here, it's going to be so hard to try to move into that standing position. But you guys, if we work at it, eventually we can improve it. So my lower back is glued. I'm pushing my head into the mat. Uh, sorry, I'm pushing my head into the wall. Then if that wasn't hard enough, I'm going to ask you to bring your elbows and plant them on the wall. Now from here, we are going to bring our arms all the way up and I already feel this stretch. It's like my body doesn't want my back to be glued to the, uh, to the wall anymore. And I feel it right in between my shoulder blades. For those of you who have shoulder issues, you might be here. That's okay, you work your way up. Maybe your hands are not even reaching, maybe your hands are off the uh, wall. That's okay, you guys, eventually you'll get there. Then slowly you're going to bring your arms all the way up if you have that range of motion and slowly down. Now if you don't have this range of motion and you can't do this movement, what I want you to do is again make sure your back is glued, do your chin tuck, your back, your, the top of your head is on the wall. We'll just do this, go up, hold 10 seconds, back down 10 seconds, up 10 seconds, down 10 seconds. So we're not only stretching our muscles, we're also stretching that fascia, that's the connective tissue that goes from the top of our leg all the way down to our uh, lumbar spine to even our feet, right? We're trying to stretch that. So again, I'm repeating the two exercises. The first one is you're here, you try to go up and down. You can repeat this 10 times, but do it slower than what I'm doing. The second one is you're here, you just reach, bring your arms back. Again, hold 10 seconds, you can repeat it 10 times. The next stretch we are going to do is going to be for our pec. Again, you can put your hand, my elbow on the wall, and I'm trying to go forward. So if you're doing this at the, the door, it's easier. You just put your hand on the wall and you go forward, but you can also do it on the wall. So my hand is here and I'm just rotating my body the other way. Okay. And I feel a really nice stretch in my pec. That's the muscle here, you guys. That's your chest muscle. So right now, my hand is at a 90 degree angle. You can also bring your arm up and go forward. Oh, I feel that that kills. Or you can bring your arm down and then again, rotate your body. You're hitting different fibers of your pec when you're doing this. Again, each stretch, you're holding for about 30 seconds, repeating three times on each side. Okay guys, now I know that was a lot of exercises, but we're almost there. So the next couple of exercises I'm gonna show you, you can easily do them sitting on a chair, uh, and they're going to be again to create and maintain that range of motion in our joints. The first one is going to be a piriformis stretch and sitting. Again, bring your ankle right over your knee, sitting up tall, try to push your knee down, and try to reach forward, okay? You hold the stretch for 30 seconds, you should be feeling a really, really nice pull from your glutes going to your knees. And I'm going forward, holding 30 seconds, switch to the other side. This is a great hip opening exercise, so it's good for our hips. Also, if you are having lower back pain, it can be really helpful. Just make sure your back is straight, that you're not slouching, squeeze your shoulder blades back, just go forward. Now, you might be here, you might be here. It's okay, work on pressing that knee down, leaning forward. You shouldn't be sitting all the way back and trying to do this, you won't feel the stretch as much. The next movement is going to be a, an upper back rotation. So you can plant both hands on the side of the chair and try to rotate your body. Now, again, we are going to do this segmentally, starting with the lowest part of our spine, moving up. So maybe take an inhale, get long in your body. Exhale, rotate just your lower back. Inhale, get tall. Try to use your hands to rotate your upper back. 
Again, inhale, get tall in your body. Exhale, rotate your neck all the way back. And slowly come back to center. And you can repeat it on the other side. And the last thing I'm going to show you is going to be a hamstring stretch. You guys, there are a gazillion different ways of doing a hamstring stretch. In this video, I'm going to show you one in standing. Using the chair, all I want you to do is bring your leg forward, plant it on the chair, make sure it's stable, and gently lean forward. Now, a couple of things with this is that we tend to do this, okay? I want you to push this hip back, make sure your hips are level you can use a wall for stability back is straight squeeze your shoulder blades back and just lean forward you should be feeling a really nice stretch in the back of that hamstring hold it for 30 seconds repeat three times on each side the next exercise i'm going to show you is going to be another thoracic chest opening exercise again i will leave the thoracic mobilization exercises in the description for you guys you can definitely follow those as well what i want you to do is sit back on your chair, bring your arms, interlock them behind your head, elbows together, lean back, and you wanna move backwards. And then come forward again. You can move down a little bit on the chair, and again, lean back. And come forward. Now, if your chair is a little bit lower than the one I have here, you will be able to move more, mobilize more segments of your thoracic spine, which will be better for you. Okay guys, that is it in terms of exercises. I know that was a lot because in this video, I didn't focus just on the lower back um, because with this condition, it's not just that your lower back is involved. Maybe the condition starts in your lower back, but then eventually hits your whole spine. So you might as well just start doing range of motion exercises for all levels and um, at some point you need to make sure that eventually you start doing strengthening exercises as well again I will leave links in the description for you guys for some low impact um, stabilizing exercises that can help with your posture so definitely you want to hit those back muscles do upper back exercises um, and if you have access to a pool honestly hydrotherapy again does magic it's definitely one of my favorite means of therapy so if you do have access to a pool get in that pool you can always contact me i'll try to send you exercises you can do in the water it's not necessarily swimming i'm not asking you to swim i just want you to get in the water and basically move in water as always if you guys have any questions uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment for me and if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel